Captain Rhino, born in the U.S., received a hero's homecoming in Jakarta recently. The rhino's return to its rightful habitat is part of an ongoing bid to save the species from extinction. Here's more. The first Sumatran rhinoceros, born in captivity in more than 100 years, arrived in Indonesia Tuesday with a single task, to breed and so help the endangered species of extinction. The five-year-old rhino Andalas was flown from Los Angeles Zoo to Jakarta's International Airport after flying to Amsterdam. After a check-up, it was scheduled to travel for another 12 hours by truck and ferry into a rhino sanctuary on Sumatra Island, where females Rosa and Ratu await. The Sumatra rhino is considered as most threatened of the five rhino series species, with less than 300 still alive in isolated pockets and forests of Malaysia and Sumatra. Rampant poaching for its horns, used in traditional Chinese medicine, and destruction of forests by farmers, illegal loggers, and palm oil plantations companies have decimated their numbers over the past 50 years. According to the conservation groups, breeding programs like the one that is bringing Andalas back to Sumatra may help increase numbers and save the Sumatran rhino from extinction. But a greater political will to stop poaching and encroachment on forest habitats are also essential. I feel very excited. This is a very uh, this is a the first animal, the first Sumatran rhino that's been born in a zoo in 112 years. So this is a very phenomenal event. Um, the fact that this animal is, is being returned to Indonesia makes it even more special. Andalas was born in 2001 in the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. The first time a calf was bred and born in captivity since 1889 when a live bird was recorded at the Calcutta Zoo in India. You still catch the festival today and tomorrow. Moving on, a young Sumatran rhino has successfully made itself back to Indonesia from captivity in the U.S. While the path to a successful breeding program still has a long way to go, conservationists hope this homecoming would serve as a first step towards saving the critically endangered species from extinction. Our next report has more. Good news for rhino aficionados in Sumatra. After five long years of international diplomacy, the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary welcomed a new inhabitant last week. His name is Andalas. He's a five-year-old American-born rhino, the first Sumatran rhino born in captivity in more than a century. Andalas was born in September 2001 at a zoo in Cincinnati, Ohio, to parents Emmy and Ipu, the only successful captive Sumatran rhino breeding pair in the world. Andalas had endured a 63-hour long air, ground and sea trip before stepping into his new home. I feel great. It's, this, is, this is one of the highlights of my career to see this animal come back to Indonesia. Um, he is such an icon for conservation and international collaboration and we did it. We did it. Considering the fact that Sumatran rhinos have become part of an endangered species, breeding is the top priority for those working at the sanctuary. Officials say Andalas has two fertile parents thus should carry those good genes with him. He also has impressive health records and, while still young, is already showing signs of being sexually active. Doctors will try to breed Andalas with the two young females already living in the sanctuary, Rosa and Ratu. Hmm. I predict that because Andalas is now five and a half years old and showing good erection behavior, we should achieve success with the breeding program here in a year or two. While the breeding process itself is still going to be long and difficult, vets are highly optimistic. Breeding experts say Andalas could possibly sire up to eight calves in his lifetime, which would be a tremendous addition to the estimated 200 Sumatran rhinos left in the wild. 
The future of this critically endangered species may just depend on this young rhino. Ralph Tampubalan, Metro TV.